I welcome you to the first module of this course on nonlinear structural analysis. This is a first session of this module. What is a nonlinear analysis? In this session, we are going to see what is a nonlinear analysis. Before going into the complexities of a nonlinear analysis, we are going to see what is a linear analysis or a linear system. A system is said to behave linearly when it meets the following condition. Assume that A is equal to B multiplied by a function of Y. If I multiply Y by some constant N, then b times a function of n times y should be equal to n times b multiplied by function of y and this should be equal to n times a thus if we scale y by some constant n a is also scaled by the same constant n Consider an equation of a simple load deflection curve. F equal to K times X. In this equation F is the force, K is the stiffness of the structure and X is the deformation in the structure. The above equation is plotted on a load versus deformation curve shown in the figure. On x-axis we have a deformation in the structure small x. While on the y-axis we have applied force F. We are assuming that the load F is proportional to the deformation. Stiffness K is the slope of this curve. Now imagine a point on the curve with deformation equal to x1. The force corresponding to x1 will be F1. Consider second point x2 such that x2 is equal to n times x1. The force corresponding to x2 is F2. As we know from the load deformation curve that F2 is equal to k times x2. We can substitute x2 by n times x1. Recall that x2 is n times x1. Thus F2 is now equal to K times N multiplied by X1. Now, I simply rewrite the equation by writing N on the left side of the K. This tells me that F2 is equal to N times K times X1. But recall that K times X1 is F1. Therefore, F2 is n times F1. Thus, if we multiply the deformation x by n, the force F gets scaled by the factor n. Therefore, we call this system as a linear system. As we have understood, what is a linear system? Now, we are going to see what is a nonlinear system. Consider an equation of a load deformation curve. F equal to KNL times X square. In this equation, F is the applied force, KNL is the stiffness like constant, and X is the deformation in the structure. Note that in this case, KNL will have a unit of force divided by the square of the deformation. Therefore, KNL is not the stiffness but a stiffness like constant. The above equation is plotted on the load versus deformation axis as shown in the figure. On the x-axis, we have deformation in the structure x. While on the y-axis, we have the applied force F. Consider a point on the curve, with deformation equal to X1. 
the force corresponding to this deformation, will be F1. Now consider another point x2, such that x2 is equal to, some constant n times x1. The force corresponding to x2, will be F2. I know from the load deformation curve that, F2 is equal to KNL, times the square of x2. But x2 is n times x1. Therefore, I substitute x2, with n times x1. Thus I get, F2 is equal to, KNL times square of the bracket, n times x1. Now if I take the n outside the bracket, what I get is, F2 is equal to square of n times KNL, multiplied by the square of x1. Recall that KNL times square of x1, is F1. Therefore, when I square the deformation x1, by some constant n, the force gets scaled by the square of n. This does not meet the condition, of a linear system, since in a linear system, if the deformation is scaled by some constant m, the force should also get scaled by the constant m. Therefore, we call this system a nonlinear system. Note that, this is a simple example of a nonlinear load deformation relation. In real life problems, the relationship between load and deformation can be far more complex. Now, we are going to see an example of a nonlinear structure. You can see a condenser of a split air conditioner mounted on the rubber mounts in the picture. As we know, rubber is a highly nonlinear material. To explain this better, see a rubber mount shown in the slide. If a force is applied on the rubber mount, and the deformations are measured, the force deformation curve we get, is shown in the third picture. Note that, we can not write a single constant stiffness k, for the entire range of deformations. The relationship, between the load and the deformation, is not linear. As the deformation increases, the stiffness of the structure increases. This phenomenon, is known as stiffening. Stiffening of the rubber with deformation, is one of the examples of, an nonlinear material behavior.